everyone. Welcome to Gigi's Magic Mailbox. I'm Gigi, and I'm so glad you stopped by today. Did you hear that? That means something's in the Magic Mailbox. Let's see what it is. Otter in Space. <laughs> this is a story about Otter and Teddy going on a really, really big adventure. They're going to the moon, and you won't guess what they bring back. <laughs> they have so much fun. This is a cute story. If you have your own copy, go grab it, and we'll read it together. All right, let's get started. Otter in Space Written and illustrated by Sam Garten. On Sunday, Otter Keeper took me and Teddy to the museum. The museum is the best place ever. We saw a huge dinosaur skeleton and met Teddy's cousin. We also looked at old paintings made before crayons were invented. In a museum, even boring things become interesting if they are old enough. But our most favorite part was the special room all about outer space. There were lots of fun things to do and buttons to press. Teddy and I got to see a real moon rock. Otter Keeper said it came all the way from the moon. And the moon is very far away. The video told us so. Our last stop in the museum was a very important one, the gift shop. Unfortunately, Otter Keeper said I couldn't buy everything I needed. So I was forced to make some very difficult decisions. On the way home, Teddy and I were a little sad. We had a new spaceship, but we really needed a moon rock too. The next day after Otter Keeper left for work, we were still sad. Playing in outer space was no fun with just a spaceship. Teddy suggested going back to the museum to get a moon rock, but no one knew how to get there without Otter Keeper. Giraffe offered to drive, but I don't think he really knows how. I needed to think of a clever plan to get my moon rock. This took a long time. Then suddenly, I had the best idea ever. Teddy and I would get our moon rock from the same place the museum did, the moon. We made a very important list of very important things. It was very important. Really important things to do. Number one, make important list. Number two, make space suit. Number three, train Teddy. Number four, find real space rock. But before getting started, we decided to have our lunch. Thinking of ideas and writing lists can make you hungry. Lunch is very important too. The first thing on the list was to build our spacesuits. You must not forget to bring a spacesuit if you're going to the moon. Unfortunately, our house has a lot of gravity, and this can make it hard to properly test a spacesuit. Teddy took his spacesuit off. He didn't seem to be taking space travel seriously. So I decided it was time to start his training. Problem solving wasn't his strong point, but he impressed everyone with his performance in the anti-gravity training. Teddy asked if Giraffe would be coming with us to the moon. I explained that Giraffe, of all people, certainly could not come. Giraffe had a very important job back on Earth. Mission Control. Now it was time to build our spaceship. 
This was very important, and I told everyone they had to help, but I still had to do most of the work myself. Finally, it was time for launch. Liftoff went very well. But we did have a bumpy moon landing. And my spacesuit got a little broken. We didn't have long to find our moon rock, but luckily they were all hiding in the same place. We chose the best moon rock we could find. The biggest one. It was hard to get it back to Earth, but Teddy and I agreed it was worth it. The day got much better now that we had a moon rock to play with. And then Otter Keeper came home. We discovered he really doesn't like moon rocks. In fact, he was quite upset and said that the moon rock had to go back to where it came from. This was a silly idea. We obviously couldn't get it back to the moon because our spaceship was broken. Otter Keeper said we could discuss what to do with our moon rock at dinner. I kept my spacesuit on the whole time to show I was serious. Finally, Otter Keeper agreed to let us keep the moon rock, but only if we took it outside for a bath. That evening, Otter Keeper added, Do not dig up moon rocks to our list of things not to do. Otter, do not jump on sofa. Use the big phone. Empty cereal packet for toy. Dig up moon rocks. But he didn't say anything about digging up other things. So tomorrow, Teddy and I have decided to go back to the moon. To dig up a dinosaur! The end. Let's play how many? How many moons do you see? One, two, three, four, five. There are five moons. How many rockets do you see? One, two. There are two rockets. How many moon rocks do you see? One, two, three, four, five. Five moon rocks. Let's count the stars. Not the shooting stars, but just the stars. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. Seven stars. Now let's count the shooting stars. One, two, three. There are three shooting stars. Okay, let's count the planets with the rings. One, two, three. Four. There are four planets with a ring. Now let's count the suns. One, two, three. Three suns. And last, let's count the planet without the rings. There's only one. One planet without the rings. Well, that was fun. I love counting, don't you? Thank you for joining me today to read Otter in Space. I just think little Otter and Teddy are so cute. They have so much fun, don't they? <laughs> and they found that moon rock together, didn't they? And do you remember what they were gonna dig up the next day? I don't think Otter Keeper's gonna be too happy, do you? 
they are gonna dig up a dinosaur. <laughs> well, that reminds Gigi, I've got a dinosaur story coming up soon. So don't forget to check back and see what it is. Well, I hope that you have a great day and I'll see you soon.